Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube, how's it going? As you can see, I'm still in my PJs. I don't care if I'm in my PJs on video right now. I am stuck to John Ford. Um, today I just kind of, um, it's kind of laying around some. I've been kind of tired lately. I mean, I haven't really, you know, been feeling myself lately. Um, I don't know why, but that's not normal, normally me, it's just the fact that, it's just the fact I have a lot going on up in the middle state, in my mind, you know, fighting my own demons, don't know what I, how I'm going to fight them, um, but like I said, always count your blessings no matter what. If you got food on the table, always count your blessings no matter what day it is of the week. No matter how bad of a day you have, you must always count your blessings. You know, I'm blessed for the food that I'm cooking for myself and hold on, hold on, hold on I'm going to have me a cup of coffee shot glass <laughs> which I don't do whiskey but you know it was in with the trailer and everything and get some sugar for my coffee Sugar for one little cup. But, hmm, right there. Got me a new top pot and everything. Works wonders. Don't leave. I'm one of those cheapos. Um, only. For the creamer I use, I use the cinnamon row flavor. Not bad. I've tried the brown kind. I've tried the chocolate chip kind. Um, I even tried the honey nut and basil kind. Um, all the other brands out there. Got my coffee. I mean, I haven't had coffee yet this morning. I had a Pepsi this morning when I woke up. I usually have my soda first in the morning and then but yeah it's just the fact that you know I've been kind of blah and a blah mood lately I don't know why like I don't know if it's like a press state um, cooking me some lunch here Sorry about all the access noise and everything else. Um, I really haven't really ate anything since basically 9 o'clock last night. I know it's not good to eat late, but I do it anyway. I mean, my body's been kind of changing on how I eat a little bit. Um, but life is good. Life is good no matter what. Um, I really don't know really what to really really even even, even really even 
talking what they really talked about. Hmm. Good. Even really talk about pepper jack cheese, best type of cheese there ever is. Um, pepper jack, best choice. I mean, our slice, pretty good. I like to eat cheese sometimes. Um, I don't do it all the time, but I like to eat it. Cause I'm like a mouse. Once I start eating cheese, I want to eat the whole package. My bang bang sauce on there. I don't know if you have this sauce in your stores around, but it's a new sauce that's been out. Not but I mean it's not too hot, it's not too spicy. I mean it's kind of inter in between. Um, but it's a bang, it's a called bang bang sauce. I usually put it on my burgers. Um, I might put mayo on my burgers just put it on whatever mood I'm in. Um, sometimes I put mustard on my burgers. Sometimes I put chips in my burgers. Sometimes I don't. Um, it just varies on what I want to eat on my burger. Um, sometimes I might eat the burger plain. You know, it just varies. Um, just depends on what type of mood I'm in. But, I think McDonald's kind of might use this sauce on their Big Mac, but I'm not really too sure. So I used to work there, and sometimes their, their, uh, their Big Macs. Let me move my camera. Sorry about it. I'm moving around a lot, guys. Sorry about that. I should have had everything all set up the way how I wanted it. Sorry about the mess on my table. See if I can get myself in there. I'm going to turn the light or I have some lighting. notes the other day on some things really didn't really mount to anything but the thing it is when you think life has hit you hard you must always get back up uh, I went in now got me a new haircut got my beard trimmed um, yesterday, got new tires for my car. You know, maintenance on the car is very important because I guess you to point A to point B when driving. <laughs> and then, went to Taco Bell day yesterday at lunch. Every Friday, I kind of have my taco hit fix, you know, from Taco Bell because I like their quesadillas. One of the best meals ever to get at Taco Bell. Um, Damn good burger here. Heck, I'm better than McDonald's. With burgers. Maybe I go in there and teach someone how to make burgers. Like good burgers. 
instead of, you know, ordering manufactured burgers, you know, I wish they would do, do regular burgers, you know, instead of ordering manufactured burgers made from a factory somewhere and shipped in boxes. I know how it's done because I've used to work at McDonald's, to tell you the truth. It was like, um, around 2007 to 8-ish, somewhere around there, <laughs> maybe all the way up to 2010, um, but yeah, it's just, I got tired of having too many chiefs, not enough menus around there. One person will say this, the next person will say this, you do what one person says, the next person comes up behind you and says, you know, why are you doing this? You know, nobody's on the same page around here. And I don't like working for people like that. When nobody, everybody's not on the same page. You always got to be on the same page with your employees. That way you don't get yourself in trouble. That way you don't need your self control. That never works. Sometimes. People just want to do on what they want to do. People just want to do on what they want to do because they feel like they don't have to listen to them. And that's the thing. And the thing is, they feel like they don't have to do any work. They want to just get hired on, you know, stand around and talk all day, and, and you know. Now, what kind of job would that be? You know, stand around and be able to talk every day, and you know, there'd be people out there that do that. They don't want to get caught doing it, but they get paid for it. And, it, you know, it's just wrong. Those type of people, you know, if I was running a company, and if I had one employee just standing around talking, not doing any work, not, you know, for a full month, you know, I would wait to call them in the office toward the end of the month and say, hey, how come you ain't doing any work? I hired you on to do work. And that's the thing. And most people just don't want to work. They want to get money for free, you know, from the government, you know, from, you know, waiting on that stimulus check, whatever it may be, you know, to survive off that or survive off of unemployment. Unemployment. Yeah, it's good to have when you can't find a job. But would you really want to live off unemployment the rest of your life? No. Because eventually that unemployment is going to run out. And then they ain't going to provide you no more. You know, what gets me is people today, today's society, which is sad, is that People just don't want to work anymore. They don't want to put up with the bullshit anymore. They don't want to put up with the hassle anymore. They don't want to, you know, make money for their families or for themselves. They want to just have things handed down to them like somebody owes them.
that somebody owes them. Only thing that I can say is that you owe yourself to do something that is right. You owe yourself to do something that is right instead of wrong. Because you think somebody else owes you, then you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong if somebody owes you. If you think somebody owes you. Yeah, if you did them a favor a while back and you feel like, oh, you. Did them a favor a while back and they still haven't returned the favor back after they said they would turn return it. You know, you did a favor to for them. Because you felt like you needed the favor. Do the favor. If nobody don't owe you nothing, nobody don't need to know owe you anything. Nobody don't get handouts. There are some people that will. But, you know, I seen this lady every time up in Nola, standing on the corner, you know, asking for money. Asking for money. And it's sad to see that she is homeless. But the thing of it is, she might not even be homeless. She just probably just can't find a job and she just doesn't need the money to be able to survive. But I've heard stories on the internet where people will fake to be homeless. And they are rich. As can be. Because they saved up all the money that the people give them. And they live off the, off the charts. They live the grid of the prison. They live off the grid. Because they can't handle society. And that's the thing. You know, one thing, you know, is that nobody don't owe you nothing. You owe yourself. If you got homeless, that's your own fault. That is your own fault. Nobody but yourself. Nobody don't need to go out and give you a handout for their from their money, hard earned money. You know, yeah, it's nice to help out the community, but deep down inside, that man might not even be homeless. He may just be dressed up like a homeless man or homeless woman just to get get her fixed of the day of a drug that she's on, or they're on, or they drink alcohol or. Just to get their fix. Because <laughs> me, honestly, if I would see a homeless woman, I'd say, hey. 
what are you going to use this money on? And I would ask her if I would give it to her. I'll say, what are you going to use this money on? And, and if she says food and stuff, I'll just say, hey, hop in the car. I'll take you to the nearest grocery store and I'll buy you a little bit of food where you can live and survive. For a week. And if she would say no, then I would just drive on and just not give her anything. Because I don't support drugs, I don't support alcoholism. Even though I drink some, but that's only an occasion. Everybody has their weakness in life, but nobody's perfect. But the thing is, nobody doesn't owe you anything. You owe yourself. You owe yourself a hundred percent. That's right. <clears throat> You owe yourself a hundred percent. You don't owe yourself to anybody. Damn, that's good talk. Spilled it all on me, damn. I don't care what throw my clothes. I ain't afraid to get a little, I ain't afraid to get a little dirty. But that's like I said, you don't owe your, man, you owe your, you owe yourself, you owe yourself. You don't owe, you don't get it from other people. Three and a half years ago, actually going four years since uh, two more months or whatever month I came down on. Um, it's been so long I kind of like blocked it all out and it's kind of, you know, moved on. But ever since I moved down on here, I made a promise to myself. I'm going to do better than what he, they, they are doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove to him that I can make it. And this ain't all life. Because, I didn't owe it to him. I didn't owe it to my dad. I didn't, man, I didn't owe it to my stepfather either. You know, I, Owe it to myself that I didn't make a change in my life. Started working out. Well, I smoked cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes while I was working out, which I was kind of addicting. But there were there were people out there that smoked cigarettes and work out and stuff, and. Which I kind of took to cigarette smoking a little too far. I was smoking a pack a day. Um, then when I got sick really bad, then I couldn't stand smoking. It just made me cough and everything else. And I just, after I quit, I tried to pick it back up. I just couldn't do it. You know, I got my lungs all cleaned out after I quit it. And it just wasn't for me. And like when I drink, you know, when I drink sometimes, sometimes I do want a cigarette because that's when I usually, usually how I usually do it. But it's like now it's like when I drink, I don't want a cigarette, and and that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, when I get mad, I I feel like I want one. When I get pissed off or when I can't see clearly, 
sometimes. Yeah, I do want a cigarette. But do I go back and buy a pack and say, hey, you know, I want a cigarette and I want to smoke it. And my mom and everybody else, you know, they said they can go about, they can, you know, smoke a cigarette and I ain't really affect them. Me, I have that, you know, personality of a addicting, you know, if I want one, I want another one. And back then, I mean, there were warriors back then that smoked. There were fighters back then that smoked. Um, I know Mike Tyson, you know, I don't know if he smoked cigarettes, but he did drugs back then. I mean, he did hardcore drugs. Um, but if you want to talk about Bruce Lee, um, they say he smokes marijuana. And they got proof of evidence of him smoking it from notes and variations from writings to Bob Wall. Um, and you want to look at look at Donnie Yen. He smokes. Cigarettes, and he is a kung fu practitioner. So, and a again, damn good actor in martial arts. I want to say he's probably better than Jet Li. And because to me, Jet Li. He, he does he does wire work. I mean, he does wire work in all his movies. But I'm not talking about movie goers, movie things right now. But I owed it to myself that I needed to make a change. No one else did it for me. I did it for myself because I wanted to change. That's the thing. You owe it to yourself if you want to change. Like if you have a bad habit, you know, you can't quit. Let's say, let's say if you're addicted to masturbation and you don't know how to stop and you know, that's always a no problem. You know, sometimes they have hard times controlling their urges. You know, they see somebody find the store and they go home and, you know, masturbate to that image of that person in their mind. To release their stress. They're low. Um, but, you know, if you want to quit masturbation, you owe it to yourself. You need to make a commitment. Hey, no more masturbate. No fabbing. That's what most people would say. Same with drinking. Same with doing drugs. Anything you do, you owe it to yourself. And plain and simple. Now, if you want to get money for a nice car, you know, and you go up to your parents and say, hey, mom and dad, if I, you know, can I borrow this and that, you know, this amount of money or whatever. No, you don't do that. You can't go out and ask your parents, you know, for all this money that they worked hard for you know, to be able to put food on the table, and then you want to go out and buy, a, let's say, a Corvette, and they go and they say, okay, yeah, 
We'll buy you the Corvette, but you're going to do some work to get it up, get it off. To get it. And, and if you say no, and then you expect them to give it to you anyway, well, that's not how it's done. You know, everything that I had, everything that I had in my room when I was younger, all my friends, they got jealous of me because I had all these cool stuff. I had a lot of action figures. I had a lot of Legos. Um, I mean, I had everything a kid could dream of in my room. I had a VCR in my room when they first came out. And everybody was like, oh man, you're so cool and everything. You got a VCR. When they came out in the, in the 90s at first, before duty players came out. And... They always wanted to come over and watch movies in my room and, and stuff. We always had, a, always had a movie night every Friday night at my place. And then turn around and like, sometimes I would have, you know, well, I mean, not even have my own gym down in the basement and everything where I was living at. And would have like boxing tournaments going on with each other. You know, see if we can box it out on each other. And we just have wax. I mean, it's bullshit. And, but the thing of it is, you know, I, I owe it to myself because I work for my stuff. I didn't ask my mom and dad for things. You know, I would make deals with them and say, hey, you know, if I do this for four months to get what I need, would you be willing to? I negotiated with them. Say, hey, if I did this for you for four months, you know, do your laundry, do the laundry, do do dishes, do it all for four months. Without my sister doing it for four months to get what I wanted. And they would ask me, well, what do you want? And sometimes be an electronic item is really expensive and everything on the shelf. And so they would start setting money back for me in, in a jar, you know, put my name on it for his electronic. And I wouldn't touch that money, even though I had that money, but I wouldn't touch that money until I got to what I need. And I would ask my dad, how much money do I have in that jar now? And he would tell me every time it added up. And I said, I'm not quite there yet. And so, because what I want, I want a electronic game system. And then I want like three games with it to keep me busy for a while. And when they first came out. So I would work it off. And I owed it to myself. Because I got my prize that I wanted of achieving things. So, there you have it, folks. You owe it to yourself. Nobody else owes it to you. Nobody don't deserve to give you a handout. Nobody, unless you really need it and you don't have the money, and you, you know if you need it and you know for an emergency or something like that then yeah, that's understandable. I mean, I have friends that still to this day, I can ask money, ask money from them and they know I would pay them back. And it might be a while till I do, but they know I would pay them back and I'll pay them back with interest. So, it's just a curiosity and you explain the reason why he had to pay the back for so long and, and and be honest with them about it, they'll respect you 100%. And they'll say, okay, you paid me back. I know it took you that long, but I will let you borrow again if you need it. And they have told me that themselves. So I don't even like to ask people for money. But if somebody would ask me for money, I would probably help out 
No, if they really needed it, if I knew them, but if I don't know them, um, I'm not going to take the chance because there are a lot of fakes out there that say they need the help and, and they really don't and they go use it for something bad, stupid, whatever that they shouldn't be doing and I don't buy that. And like I said, you guys just need to owe yourself some. No, no, nobody don't need to owe you nothing. You need to owe yourself. Send me a dump board, hit the like, mm -hmm. hit the subscribe. Sorry for a long video. Sorry for the mess on my table. I mean, I'm trying to do some cleaning around here this morning some. And I cleaned out my food pantry, you know, what, what's good and what's not good. Uh, I'm trying to get some things cleaned up around here and make it more livable so it's like a slob. Uh, I've done my dishes last night and I've done my laundry. I still have laundry in the dryer from last night. Um, I fell asleep when I, when I was waiting on it. And, but other than that, you know, just stay positive and owe yourself. And God bless, you know, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit all on the bell notification. Do get every one of my videos and I'll see you in the next video. And yes, these are Dragon Ball Z pajama pants that I have on. Uh, if y'all want to know, I got them at Walmart for like, like $20, something like that. I'm, I'm still a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, does, is that a kid's show? Yes, it is, but it's one of the best damn animations there ever is um, and, and of all time. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, that's a kid's show. I can hear in the comment section saying that's a kid's show. You're still watching cartoons as an adult. You know, hey, it's okay to watch kid's stuff. It's okay to watch cartoons when you're an adult. It just brings back memory. You know, and that's the thing. There's all kinds of adults out there that gets into animation. That's my thing. You know, it doesn't mean I'm a kid on the inside. No, it don't. You know, that's just what I still like to watch. And, and plus, it gets me motivation to train. Because that's all they ever do in the show. They train, they power up, they yell at the top of their lungs and everything else. They ascend to the next level. I said, that's what I'm trying to do in life. I'm trying to ascend to the next level where I need to be at. Be it go beyond, as Goku would say, I want to go beyond Ultra Instinct to achieve a new higher power. So, think positive. You know, you can do anything you want. And, and you know, all you got to do is just believe. You know, set your mind to things. Like I said, hit that like, subscribe. Hit the like button uh, to help the algorithm out. Um, leave a comment down below if you want. And I said, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But, so that's it. Peace.